抛完欺凌呢个情况，一直都喺加拿大广泛存在。而有不同性取向嘅学生，成为被欺凌对象嘅呢个问题，亦都相当之严重。咁為咗針對性處理呢個問題 ，BC 省嘅本拿比校區喺六月份通過一條名為五點四五性取向及性別認知嘅政策，咁原意係要保護每一名學生。不過政策嘅相關內容就引起咗好大嘅爭議。究竟呢條政策嘅內容係講乜嘢嘅咧？支持同埋反對嘅一方又持有啲乜嘢嘅理據咧？我哋一齊睇下。正面冲突。呢一连串激烈嘅争辩。起因就係支持同埋反對本拿比校區通過五點四五性取向及性別認知政策。咁雖然政策已經喺六月份通過，但係相關嘅風波從來冇平息。呢條政策引起咁大嘅關注，簡單嚟講係因為根據政策五點四五，本拿比嘅學校會向學生正面講述不同性取向，亦都會提及不同性取向人士為社會作出嘅貢獻等內容。校區指政策嘅目的係要解決區內嘅欺凌問題。We're trying to create an awareness, and the idea is is that yes, there are students like that, there are people like that. They still have a right to be accepted. They still have a right to be in our schools, and we still have to teach those students. And so they have the same rights as a heterosexual student. Okay, that they have the same rights to come to school to be taught. In an inclusive, safe, and caring place, we're not here to inculcate or go against what parents believe. Claudia Morelli is a Bonnaby School teacher. She said the relevant policy is based on the BC State Education Code. The school teaches different classes, including the non-gender school. All the school schools who oppose gender equality are within the age range. 亦都唔會提及性或者性行為。That's reality right now, so we need to be able to to have the students be aware of that. So I don't think teachers would would specifically、uh, say, you know, that lifestyle is good as compared to this lifestyle is bad. Here's two lifestyles, okay, or three or four. Morelli 解釋，讓學生了解不同性取向嘅議題。目的係令佢哋減少誤解同埋衝突，達至互相包容同埋接受。雖然有關嘅政策引嚟好大嘅反對聲音，但係佢堅持學校係有責任向學生反映現實。Now we have a totally different kind of society and a totally different family makeup, where we do have legal gay marriages, we do have single parents that are bringing up children. So society is changing. 不過，反對學校正面談及同性戀議題嘅家長就認為校區嘅做法係另有所圖。所以我哋覺得，會唔會係因為有一啲、呃、同性戀嘅積極分子，佢希望佢喺學校宣傳同性戀，正面宣傳同性戀，佢希望容易啲，所以佢叫校嗰個通過一啲、呃、政策去幫助佢哋宣傳同性戀呢。刘志达有两名女儿喺本拿比学校区就读，佢同一啲同样反对政策五点四五嘅家长组成咗名为家长心声嘅组织。佢指责校区唔应该将不同性取向讲成系正面同埋健康嘅生活模式。有啲人因为宗教，佢个佢个佢个圣经话唔同同性恋系罪嚟嘅，咁呢个有宗教自由噶嘛？我咁我哋都要保护宗教嘅自由噶。有啲人佢个社会文化佢系唔接受同性恋嘅。咁咁，我哋要都尊重佢社會文化嘅喎。有啲人覺得同性戀係絕後嘅，咁咁你話佢錯咩？佢啱嘅點會唔啱啫？我我想開先生，人類要延續，唔可以絕後噶嘛。你講嚟講去，係咪啊？咁因好多人因為唔同嘅原因而唔贊成同性戀行為噶嘛。有啲人覺得佢核突，係嘛？呢個好 personal 嘅嘢嚟噶嘛。咁點解教育局係要監啲學生去反對佢嗰個家長？刘志达强调，自己并非歧视有不同性取向嘅人士。
。佢話自己有一名同性戀嘅家人。根據佢嘅個人經歷，認為面對身邊嘅人有唔同性取向，雙方都冇必要畫公仔畫出腸。因為佢同我哋都覺得每一個人嘅私事係你自己嘅私事。如果你講出嚟，人哋接受嘅咪 OK 咯。你講你講出嚟，人哋唔接受唔接受嘅，你再講，其實即係龍僵嗰、那個嗰、那個氣氛嘅啫嘛。而家嘅教育系統裏面呢，有一部分人講法就係話，你要包容佢，你要完全接受晒佢所有嘢，佢先至覺得係被愛被接受㗎。呢、这個係一相情嘅講法。但我舉個例，我所我如果有個燒香拜神嘅，係都要你話燒香拜神好嘅，你都會反感嘅，係咪？但係中國人嘅處理方法就係、是。有啲敏感嘅嘢，或者人哋唔中意嘅嘢，咪唔講咯。人哋中意嘅咪講多啲咯。咁呢個其實就係一個交易之道嚟嘅啫，即係。但係呢一種處理手法，有人就唔贊同。So I know a lot of cultures like mine and yours, you know, we don't want to talk about it. We don't want to talk about oral sex or sex in general. We don't want to talk about being gay or being straight and all these issues. But your kids are getting it. Your kids are getting it on Twitter. They're getting it on Facebook. They're getting it on the internet. They're finding out about it. They're hearing it in school. They've got friends who are sexually active. So by not talking to them, by not communicating with them, you're actually leaving them wide open to learn about all this stuff from other people. Shiraz Kassam 同樣有兩名仔女就讀本拿比校區咁，但係佢就認為學校應該同學生討論唔同嘅性取向。咁所以多次同刘志达正面交锋，虽然佢自己以及仔女都并非同性恋者，但系佢积极咁样参与反歧视同性恋活动。原因系佢曾经被误会系同性恋者而深受其害。Shiraz 父母都系印裔人，不过佢喺东非出世，七岁以难民嘅身份嚟到温哥华。佢嘅外表同埋口音同同学嘅唔一样，令到佢难逃被欺凌嘅命运。I had this British accent when I spoke.、Um, my parents, I think, just like many Asian parents, teach their kids to be polite, you know, well-mannered,、um, tend to be soft-spoken.、Um, so, of course, you're perceived as being a sissy, you know, being a teacher's pet, being gay, being fag, pushed into lockers,、um, shoved into lockers, everything, everything. I mean, I went through the whole range of bullying. Kids will bully because they don't know better. 今日 ，Shiraz 已经系一名成功嘅商人，但系其实被欺凌嘅阴影，每一日都仍然跟随住佢。I think psychologically, being bugged about having hair meant I wanted to get rid of hair. I think being bugged about being fat has made me obsessive when it comes to gym and watching how I eat and what I eat because, yeah, I hated myself. Because they made me hate, they made me hate myself. And when you keep calling somebody, you know, fat or nigger or or gay or faggot or whatever, you you're making them hate themselves. 为咗支持本拿比校区推行反歧视同性恋政策，佢首次喺公众同埋屋企人面前谈及同埋面对呢一段被欺凌嘅经历。每一次提及嘅时候，心情仍然沉重。Internalizing all this and feeling very suicidal, and and I was. I mean, there are times when I wanted to take my own life. He 坦言喺自己嘅印度传统文化同中国文化好相似，对性取向等嘅议题仍然系持比较保守嘅态度。好多时宁愿唔提唔讲。咁但系喺互联网咁发达嘅社会，如果学校同埋家庭仍然唔正面讨论嘅话，其实只会带嚟反效果。This is a great opportunity. For parents to actually have kids come home, and kids will say, you know, Dad, they said in school today that that you know there is such a thing as gay people. What is that all about? You will actually get a chance to educate your children and say, look, you know, in society these things happen, but in our religion, if you follow our religion and this is what our religion has to say about it, and you can teach your children. So really, that's what education is all about. 虽然支持同埋反对双方嘅争辩并冇停过，而呢一条五点四五性取向及性别认知政策亦都演变成为政治化。刘志达同埋家长心声嘅几名成员
，认为校区并冇听取家长嘅反对声音，已经宣布会喺嚟紧嘅十一月市选当中竞逐学务委员，期望喺校区取得席位。不过 s h a r a s 就认为，无论家长对相关嘅议题持乜嘢意见都好，每一个家长都想保护自己嘅仔女。同時，亦都有義務保護其他小朋友，能夠同樣享有開心健康嘅校園環境。而教育就係改變嘅開端。Education is the way to do anything or any change in society. It's education is what society moves ahead on. And if we start with educating our kids about acceptance and tolerance, then we are creating future leaders that will bring Canada into even a more Of an envious spot in the world, we already are one of the leading countries in the world. This is why we all chose Canada, you know. And yet we come to Canada and now we want to change the policies, which really doesn't make sense, right? 咁好啦，今晚我哋嘅节目时间又差唔多。咁观众如果想重温今晚嘅节目内容，可以去到我哋嘅网站 www.fairtrialtv.com 节目重温嘅一栏。咁如果观众对我哋嘅节目有任何意见嘅话，欢迎你传真或者电邮俾我哋。我哋嘅全新号码系六零四二九五一三一八，电邮地址系 m a g 二十六 ，fairtrialtv.com。我哋下个星期同样时间再见，晚安。